Hey guys, Claire here, and I'm so excited to share with you my baby shower haul. So obviously this is not all the things I got for my baby shower. There's a lot of really practical things, a lot of really wonderful gifts that were way too big to include in this video. Of Case in point, my mother-in-law got me a really cool uh, rocking horse that's like a sheep that Buster is terrified of. Uh, so you will see that in the nursery tour for sure. All right, well, let's get started. I got a little shark bathrobe. <laughs> and these are from my friends, Rachel and Alana from laurenconrad.com. And it's kind of funny. I feel like the two animals to really come sort of forward for my baby have been bears and then sharks. And I've been teasing my mother-in-law about this because Sharon is obsessed with sharks. She's a deep sea diver. So it's so funny how sharks keep kind of popping up every now and then. But anyway, this made me think of my mother-in-law and it's so cute. <laughs> so this is actually from my littlest cousin, Wolfie. He is two and a half years old. My cousin, uh, Rachel, is his mom. You can tell why it's probably Wolfie's favorite book. So it's called Wolfie the Bunny. It's about a little foundling wolf that gets adopted by a family of rabbits and how he kind of has to fit in. Uh, it's really interesting, but it's so cute and the illustrations are adorable. So I'm really excited about this. Plus it's very cute. Thank you, Wolfie. This one is from my friend Martha. She's an interior designer. She's been on the channel actually. And I just thought it was a really chic little throw pillow. So cute. And if you look at the back, there's a pocket and my cousins immediately were like, oh, it's a tooth fairy pillow which is a thing, I, I didn't know this, but it's so freaking cute. So it's a pillow, kid loses his tooth, you put the tooth in the pocket, and then you put money in it. My aunt Tina made sure to yell at me, a dime, no more than a dime, a dime's enough. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But this is by company Atsuyo et Akiko, which sounds Japanese, but anyway, very cute. So I haven't fully unwrapped this one yet, but I'm so into this. This is from my friend Ursula, who's also um, one of my producers. And this is the Rosie Pope backpack slash uh, diaper bag. And I'm really pumped about this. First off, it's a really beautiful color. Secondly, it's very chic. I'm not gonna be embarrassed to wear it. And thirdly, it's a backpack. It's got, you know, all the things, like lots of organizational space. It's completely like waterproofed on the inside. We'll see how long I can keep the very beautiful pink suede <laughs> looking good. This is one that everyone was like, this is a beautiful blanket. Like you shouldn't give it to the baby, keep it for yourself. But I think it's kind of like a towel. It sort of feels like a Turkish linen towel. Um, but it's beautiful. This is from my friend Morgan, who's actually the producer of my podcast. So if you guys aren't listening to A Time and a Plate, do it. This is from her. <laughs> but I love this. It's so beautiful. Um, so whether it's bath time or I'm just going to throw it on the floor and let him play on it, whatever, I'm really into this. And it's by a company called Hamam Leek. Uh, but so pretty, the color is lovely. So this next present is from my friend Molly Kidder and she's due a little bit ahead of me um, about like two months, I think. This is by Finn and Vince and this is for three to six months old, beautiful little, little knit jacket, so cute. And this is where I kind of get a little bit freaked out because I'm, my pregnancy has been very easy. So I've been a little disconnected from it. So when I was unwrapping clothes, it felt a little bit like I was buying an American Girl doll. <laughs> I'm creating something that's gonna fit in this. That's so weird. Um, but so I don't know, maybe I'll give birth to an American Girl doll or a chic little baby who will be outfitted in lovely knitwear. This is pretty cool too. This is from Plan Toys and it's this little uh, faux camera. And it's fun if you look through it, it creates this really fun kind of like, not a kaleidoscope, but not unlike a kaleidoscope effect, but really cute. Next up is from my friend Yasmeen, and she got me a bunch of really cool vintage baby clothes and all kinds of fun stuff. But I wanted to show you guys this uh, because a few months ago I went to the Glendale paper show and I bought Baby James a um, pop-up book uh, from the 30s. And it was by an illustrator called Harold B. Lentz. And I've been sort of following him and really loving his work. And Yasmeen got me one of his pop-up books. This is his Jack and the Beanstalk pop-up. So here, I'll show you. I think there's only one pop-up inside, but it doesn't make it any less fantastic, which is pretty great. And the illustrations themselves are beautiful too, if you look into the book. Inside, and then here's the 
end pages. You know how obsessed I am with end pages. I always have to talk about the end pages. Isn't this lovely? And the colors are just insane. It's this really saturated, beautiful color palette. But anyway, that was from Yasmin and it was so thoughtful and lovely. This is hilarious. My friend Toby, who is a crack up, she's amazing. She is a mom to two boys. In her note, she wrote, it's not cute, but I swear to God, you will thank me at the six month mark. So it's a puppy that makes noises whenever you touch it. So apparently uh, for a six month old, this is the business. So I'm um, thank you, Toby. Next is from my friend, Rebecca. And these are freshly picked, the moccasins. They're so freaking cute. I love these things. They're so durable and really precious and they come in every color on the rainbow. So this was a really sweet gift. So thank you, Rebecca. And then this is from my friend, Natalie. How cute is this? It's actually, this is from Zara. So like, go Zara. He can look like an old timey uh, bar back or ice cream salesman. There's a lot of great old timey jobs that this outfit would go really well in. <laughs> also, I had this really funny joke from the, sh from the shower that the first outfit I opened actually looked like something Craig would wear. And so I was joking like, oh, I'll have to get matching outfits of you know everything James gets. I'll try to get Craig a matching outfit. And it got progressively more ridiculous because of things like this, where it's like imagining Craig in like short shorts with suspenders and just like how hilarious it would be to, instead of dressing a baby in adult clothes, which I think everyone agrees is cute, dressing a man in baby clothes is kind of horrifying. I'm sure I've spoken about my sister Amanda on the channel and I'm gonna have her appear on the channel as well, but she's an amazing jewelry designer. She has a line called Love AJ, which you can find nationwide and then internationally as well. So she's immensely successful. And so she made me this custom little necklace. It's rose gold with tiny diamonds and then a little J for James. It's so sweet. And I was like, it's just lovely little token. And um, I don't tend to wear a ton of jewelry all the time, but this is one that I'm sure I'm just gonna keep on always because it's so lovely and sweet. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear what you think of my baby shower haul. I promise there's lots of practical stuff as well, uh, but I figured this is more fun to kind of talk about and show off because it's so goofy and sweet. Stay tuned for the nursery tour because all of the big ticket items are gonna be featured there. And for more info, make sure to check out my blog, thekitchykitchen.com. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.